What's up everybody, another beautiful day on the Dragon Isles, and today we'll be taking a look at one of the Enhancement Shaman dungeon builds going into Dragonflight. Showcasing a potential build that works really well for dungeons, with insane sustained AoE as well as big burst potential from some RNG Ascendancy procs, with an extremely fast paced rotation. Now I say potential build as you never know if they come in with rando nerfs or buffs, if they do, I will update this. So this build revolves around living the Stormstrike fantasy, everything is built around getting a ton of Stormbringer and Stormstrike procs, and in turn a metric ton of Maelstrom generation so we can slap out the 10 stacked Maelstrom spells to our heart's content. So anytime we Stormstrike, more often than not we'll get a Stormbringer proc and we're able to slap it again. This in turn almost always caps out your Maelstrom, enabling you to fire off Chain Lightning, which in turn will reset your Stormstrike if you spend 10 Maelstrom on it, which you'll do most of the time. And any Maelstrom we generate also reduces our Wolfie's cooldown, which will have an insane uptime on, especially on AoE where our Maelstrom regeneration goes a little bit bananas. And on top of this, anytime we Stormstrike we have a chance to proc Ascendancy. During this our Stormstrike or Windstrike spends Maelstrom for us, so on single target you'll pump out a ton of chonky lightning bolts and on AoE you get the best feeling in the world, pressing Windstrike and watching a chain lightning spread across the pack. And with some procs you can kinda Windstrike several globals in a row, each slapping away their own chain lightning, which is just so good. Mm. But this of course means it also has the downside of sometimes running into unlucky streaks of no procs, which is a bit feels bad, but you'll quickly forget it the next time it does proc because it's so, so satisfying. And I cannot emphasize the fun factor enough, trust me if you haven't tried storm striking for fame and glory with ascendancy procs, you are missing out. Storm strike! So with that said, let's go over the build a bit. So first of all, for Maelstrom, we'll be specking into overflowing, raging and improved Maelstrom, as well as one point in Legacy of the Frost Witch, allowing us to stack and spend up to 10 stacks of Maelstrom and increases Maelstrom instant cast damage for those juicy chain lightnings and to ease up our rotation. And anytime we spend 10 Maelstrom, like I said, Storm Strike resets. Then we have Storm Blast and Storm's Wrath to add a nature damage component to your Stormbringer procs and increase your chance for mastery enhanced elements to trigger Wind Fury and Stormbringer for even more procs. Then you have Storm Flurry and Elemental Assault, so you have 50% chance to get Maelstrom from your storm strike and storm strike has a 25% chance to strike the target again for more storm strike and like I said each storm strike has a chance to proc your ascendancy with deeply rooted elements combined with static accumulation and Thorim's invocation you can generate two maelstrom every second during it and like I said using wind strike aka storm strike also spends five maelstrom on either lightning bolt or shane lightning for you so during this you just keep slamming wind strike without needing to spend any pesky globals and spenders then to fill in the rest we get all the feral spirit talents with alpha wolfies so that crash lightning and chain lightning makes them aoe for 8 seconds and you also generate more maelstrom from this and each maelstrom you generate reduces feral spirit cooldown by 2 seconds so you can pretty much reduce feral spirit cooldown by 15 to 20 seconds every other global a lot of the time as the procs roll in we'll also get molten assault to reduce lava lash cooldown but more importantly so it spreads and refreshes flame shock together with fire nova and swirling maelstrom so that each fire nova detonation generates one maelstrom up to six and does a ton of damage itself then we have crash lightning with converging storm so that each target hit by it increases storm strike damage by 25 percent up to six stacks and crashing storms for more crash damage but more importantly so that chain lightning jumps to two extra targets mm. and lastly the wind fury talents forceful winds and unruly winds for more and stronger wind fury procs as well as doom winds for an extra cooldown increasing our chance to get wind fury procs by 200% and their damage by 10%. Now as far as our class tree goes, I'll have my class tree linked in the description, but the DPS talents you want to pick up are flurry, surging shields, improved lightning bolt and fire and ice. But outside of that, pick up whatever utility you want or need. I greatly recommend picking thunderstorm with thundershock talent so you'll be able to knock mobs up into the air rather than away from you, which has insane value in dungeons as you'll be able to AU interrupt and disrupt tons of packs and it's on a 25 5 second cooldown. And then you have Ancestral Guidance, which is a great party wide healing cooldown. You can dish out some insane burst damage, so this can pump out tons of healing for your group. And getting Purge is rarely a bad thing. Occasionally, Tremor Totem if the need arises. Earth Elemental for when Pulse inevitably goes south. Point being, our utility potential is vast, but more often than not, it falls into awesome when they're useful, crap when they're not. So it really depends on the dungeon and if you want to min max. Otherwise, you can use my class tree as a cookie cutter 
works for most dungeons type of build if you will. So how does all of this work in practice as far as rotation goes? Well your priority goes a little like this on AoE. Spend Maelstrom if you have 10 stacks of Maelstrom to avoid wasting any potential Maelstrom you generate. Flame Shock if there's no Flame Shock up if the pack will live long enough. Not a huge use on a pack that dies within 5 seconds. Keep Crash Lightning buff up so that your Storm Strikes and Lava Lash can trigger its AoE. Slap Storm Strike as long as the above conditions are met. Slap Storm Strike some more as long as the above conditions are met. Lava Lash to refresh Flame Shock duration and to spread it to other targets, especially at the start of a pack so you can fire Nova. Crash Lightning after that, Lava Lash, then Flame Shock if nothing else. Fill in with Fire Nova whenever you have spread Flame Shock to a few extra targets, don't press Nova. If you'll overcap Maelstrom from it, instead spend Maelstrom, then press Nova. Use your Spirit Wolfies on cooldown pretty much and make sure to always follow up with either Chain Lightning or Crash Lightning after summoning them to trigger their AoE. Use Doom Winds on cooldown or to burst down priority targets. It's also great for boss fights. And like I said, it's extremely fast paced most of the time. You'll have long, long periods of just continuous procs upon procs or setting Storm Strike, generating Maelstrom. So you'll sometimes just alternate between Storm Strike, Chain Lightning, Storm Strike, Chain Lightning with the occasional Crash Lightning sprinkled into the mix. And when it comes to single target, the rotation works the same. You just don't need to maintain Crash Lightning buff. You instead just Crash Lightning when Storm Strike and Law Lash is on cooldown. And you spend Maelstrom on Lightning Bolt instead of Chain Lightning. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Storm Striker Dungeon Build Guide and Showcase. This is still my favorite spec to play to date as far as any class and spec and build goes in Dragonflight. Can't go wrong with this. Again, not saying it's the absolute best in the entire existence of the universe, it's just probably the most fun. Now let me know what you think of this enhancement dungeon build featuring all the Storm Strike enhancement hypers in chat. Don't forget the usual stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, it really helps me out. I stream progression and testing on Twitch, Stanky Gaming. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to help support me and my work. As a patron, you get access to the Stanky Gaming Discord, shoutouts and videos, and tons of other stuff. So do check it out. It's a pretty cool uh, looking Discord. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Stop, stop. Stop.